stop holding on to things that no longer serve you. So I felt compelled to share a message with you guys today, and that message is stop holding on to things that no longer serve you. This is part of an affirmation that I say um, during like full moon cycles. I'll be like, please release everything that no longer serves me. And conveniently after that, I'll like lose a good friend or a job won't work out that I thought I wanted. Or I don't know, I feel like something like is slipping through my fingers, but probably isn't really meant to be there anyways. I feel like these things typically happen and we question them and we're like, why isn't this working out? Why, like we get so frustrated, you know? Like why me? But instead of being like, why isn't this working out? Be like, hmm, why isn't this working out? Why? And when you sit and reflect on it, sometimes you'll find that you'll have the answers within you, and sometimes you won't, but it'll all make sense later. So anyways, the message of the day is stop holding on to things that no longer serve you. Let's get into it. I remember this year, there was a full moon, and it was some like super moon. I don't know what the full moon was, I don't know what month it was, but it was one of those like powerful ones. And I had said this affirmation so many times. And within that week, I had left my job. I had decided that I was leaving the city and moving to the suburbs. I had ended a friendship with somebody very close to me. I got a new job and then I got fired after a week. That's a story in itself. And I lost a friend that, mm, I guess more of a coworker friend, but we stopped being friends like at that time. And I just remember thinking, who watch what you say because words are powerful. I said, release what no longer serves me. The universe said, okay, bet, let's do that. And I was like, whoa. And to me, that really validated just how powerful those words are. So write them down, say them out loud. Shortly after this, I decided to cut a bunch of my hair off, like a lot of hair. I'll show you a picture of how short it is now. My hair's short <laughs> and it was long. My hair was down here. The longest it had been in years. Now it's like, <laughs> it's pretty short. Did I need to cut that much off? Probably not, but I just felt like it was soothing to the moment. I don't know. In that same week, I had this plant that was just on its last days and I, instead of holding on to all the leaves that were still there, but brown, I cut those bitches off and my plant was basically naked for a long time because I had finally decided to cut off all the dead leaves that were no longer benefiting the growth of this plant. So this is not just something you do mentally, spiritually, emotionally, this is something you also do physically. Getting rid of things that no longer serve you. It's hard, don't get me wrong. Sometimes that's a partner that you're codependent on. Sometimes it's your best friend. Sometimes it's a job that you love. Sometimes it's a home that you're really attached to, but maybe it has mold and you should probably leave. Sometimes it's your own kid and you gotta get rid of them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I do think it's very important. There's a friend of mine that um, it's always been more complicated than it should be. And I found myself holding on, I guess, because I don't have many friends that I feel like I can relate to all the time, or more often than not. So I guess I just kind of held on to this relationship for no apparent reason other than it felt good. But sometimes that's not enough, you know what I mean? Just because it feels good doesn't mean it's good for you. Um, not to say that this person's bad for me, but this person wasn't really doing great for me in this moment in time. So. Recently, I kind of had to make the choice and a very quick decision it was. I literally thought about it for a day and the next day I did it to put the friendship on pause until I felt like we could come from a healthier place and like actually be proper friends um, because I just knew I had to do it. If I didn't, I think it would have spoiled the friendship and it would have affected me negatively. And because I chose to end it when I did, I feel like if we come back together as friends, it could probably make more sense at some point. Anyways, this was and wasn't an easy decision to make. It was in the sense that like, I was like, I know what I have to do. It wasn't in the sense that I didn't really feel like doing it. I didn't really feel like doing it. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because sometimes you're not gonna wanna cut off the dead ends or release what no longer serves you. You're not going to want to do it. There's a reason why I had stayed in a past relationship of mine for three years when I knew within the first year, it wasn't it, my gut knew it but I kept holding on and holding on and that broke me down. I still deal with healing certain parts of myself that were so negatively impacted by that relationship to this day and it's been over two years. Not in the sense that I'm healing my heart from that breakup, no. It's in the sense that that person damaged me so much in that time that certain moments in therapy things will pop up and it'll somehow come back to that person according to my therapist and it makes sense and if I had just ended it when I should have and released that relationship 
when I should have. It probably would have done less damage. Mind you, everything happens for a reason and I don't regret anything. But now that I know better, I will do better if I'm in a relationship like that again, which I won't be. <laughs> anyway, so I learned that lesson and now when I find that something is not serving me, I'm able to snip, snip, snip that shit off like a dead leaf on my fiddle leaf fig. So if you're listening to this video and you feel like it might be for a reason, just know, probably is, if you're in a relationship right now, I'm making eye contact with you. Yes, you. If you're in a relationship right now and in your gut, you feel like it's not serving you and something's telling you, this isn't right. This doesn't feel good, but you love them and you don't want to do it because you can't imagine a life without them. Oh, you were supposed to do this six months from now. Oh, what about this thing you were going to do together? But you booked that vacation. Oh, you have a concert in September. You couldn't possibly break up with them now. You're going to have to wait and wait and wait and wait. And what, five years? Then you're going to break up with them? No. Sometimes you have to do what you need to do and deal with the repercussions and all the extra shit after. And what you'll find is that none of that shit really matters at all. Because sometimes you think you're gonna marry someone. Sometimes you think, think about the people that have three kids and still make the decision to get a divorce. Do you think that's easy? It's not, but it's possible. You tie up the loose ends after. So if you're with somebody and you don't know how you'll go on without them because you don't have many friends and you don't have whatever, 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 just know that there's a deep level of healing that will come after that separation that will bring you so much closer to yourself that you're probably going to realize you've never needed them in the first place. And you might even wish later that you've done it sooner. So just trust your gut and do what you have to do and release the things that no longer serve you. And if that's not a person, then try to make this relative to your current situation. Are you in a job that makes you absolutely miserable, but you're intelligent and you know that you can find something better, but you just, you're too scared to do it. You're too scared to take that leap. Take the leap. Quit the job. Pressure makes diamonds. I remember I had a really bad day at work this year and I literally had a mental breakdown <laughs> and I walked out and I basically told him like I'm done and it was just one of those days that I knew was coming but I didn't want to leave the place because I was too comfortable and I just trusted God and I trusted the universe that I would get another opportunity to work somewhere within two weeks that was my that was my deadline and on the 13th day I secured a job and I started the next day. Two weeks pretty much to be exact. So I had a nice two weeks off. I had a great two weeks off. I received my last paycheck, my last tip out. Oh my God, they still owe me money. They still owe me money. Sorry, <laughs> let me send that email after this video. Um, I received my second last tip out. And so I was good for the next two weeks and I started my next job and I was fine. Actually, I got three jobs by the way. Let me just tell you that. I got three jobs. <laughs> I got three jobs within three weeks. One of them fired me, whatever. So I went to the next, <laughs> and then I went to the next. So you will be okay, you will be okay. Anyways, I guess this was a short and simple video, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I felt like it was on my chest, I guess because I just made the decision to end that friendship and realized that I'm doing just fine and I survived. I'm okay, I still got my friends. I still have access to this person if I wanna reach out. Um, they didn't do anything to me. And I still have my family and myself. So like, it doesn't like really matter, honestly. Like life goes on. Sometimes you wanna keep people around, sometimes you wanna keep that job, sometimes you wanna just stay comfortable. But what good thing happens in the comfort zone, you know? Sometimes you just got to leave your comfort zone to really see yourself thrive and maybe you'll be sad for a day or two or a month or two or eight months, who knows. But then after you get over it, you'll be okay. So may as well just make the choice for yourself that you know you need to make and cut that shit off. So maybe start with the physical. Go grab a plant and start snipping up those dead leaves. Go grab some scissors and start chopping your hair. Don't do that, get a haircut. Go to the salon. Just cut your own hair, get some bangs, cut some bangs. Maybe purge out your closet and get rid of all the things you no longer wear that no longer serve you. And watch what magic happens. Make room for the things that you want to attract in your life. 
if you're dealing with some shitty situationship and you know that's not your person, but you're gonna be lonely after you end it, just know that you're probably blocking your own blessings. The partner of your dreams could be right around the corner, but your energy is so wrapped up in this person that isn't serving you that you might miss that. Hmm. You might not miss it because I do believe that what's meant for you won't miss you, but you might prolong it for absolutely no reason. So do what you gotta do. All right guys, I hope you got something out of this video. And if you have any advice or any stories you wanna to share to motivate other people that might be struggling with this, please leave a comment down below. It really helps me out. It's gonna help other people out. It's a win-win. Use the comment section as your diary. Honestly, I don't have that many subscribers yet. So you really could use it as your diary because I doubt your homies are reading my comment section. So yeah, go have fun. Go put your heart in there. Subscribe if you're new. My name's Ashley. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video, but yeah, I make videos on everything. So hopefully you stick around. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and if you're curious, this is a homemade iced chai latte with vanilla syrup and it's delicious. Okay, bye.